What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. So I'm here in Ethiopia, the city of Baghdad, and I'm out here on the university. And what university we're on, Professor? We're here in Baghdad University, one of uh, the famous universities in Ethiopia. Okay, and um, please introduce yourself, Professor. Yeah, I'm Professor of uh, Curriculum and Instruction. I used to serve here in the university for the last 25 years. Uh, I used to uh, start my career as a lecturer, and by now I'm a professor, senior professor. All right, okay. Yeah, the field of education. Now, you know, I've wanted to ask you several questions, and I guess we got into the conversation mm -hmm. first and foremost about Jesus or Yeshua yeah. that many would call. Um, Ethiopia we sit in right now, and I know his, Ethiopia has a history yeah. being mentioned in the Bible. Yeah. And um, we know that Yeshua is, is one that is in the forefront of you all's belief. Yeah. What, is your, what is your background uh, when it comes to um, here in Ethiopia? Christian or Orthodox? What, yeah. what is that? I'm Orthodox to Hado Christian. Orthodox to Wahedo Christian. Okay. It's quite different from uh, Coptic, a uh, little bit different. It's okay. Orthodox Ethiopian said Orthodox to Wahedo Christian. Okay. Yeah. Now, most of us from the Western world, yeah. when we hear Christian, yeah. we think European. Yeah. We think they came up with that word. We think they're the ones who've termed that phrase. We think that, you know, they've, they've, uh, wrote these, the Bible and all that stuff there. What does the Ethiopians take on this Christianity? Did that word originate here in Africa? Or, or please explain. Yeah, Ethiopians are uh, familiar with both with Old and New Testament. The Old and New Testament. Yeah, we believe that Christianity has started, the essence of Christianity has started even the, before the birth of Jesus Christ. Because even today, our lifestyle is the combined effect of both Old and New Testament. Okay. Yeah, that means uh, Christianity has been strengthened by Jesus Christ. It's been what? Strengthened by Jesus Christ, the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay. Rather, it was since the birth of man, since the birth, I mean, the creation of Adam. Right. Yeah, so we Ethiopians believe that uh, Christianity hasn't started anywhere else. It started with mankind itself. God created people to worship him. The yeah. ultimate purpose of creation of man is to worship him. That means Christianity has started already when Adam was created. Mm. Mm. This is how we believe. Okay. But because, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. But the birth of Jesus Christ has strengthened uh, the Old Testament. He doesn't come to violate Old Testament. Mm. Rather, he came to strengthen the versions of Old Testament. That's how we believe. Now, Jesus Christ. Yeah. There is this matter of opinions mm. about Jesus Christ. Now, I come to know and understand that Jesus Christ is God. Yes. Some want to divide it up into three different parts mm. or persons. Mm -hmm. What is the Ethiopian? You said, of course, now, of course, that Jesus Christ is God. Yeah, uh, Jesus Christ is God. Uh, one in three and three in one. The Trinity concept. Yeah. Uh, in physics, there are three. In, in Godness, there are one. Mm -hmm. In holiness, there are one. Therefore, there is one God, but it's reflected into three with different uh, purposes. Funct functions. Functions, functions different, I mean, yeah. Different functions. Functions, yeah. but uh, that would be more explained by uh, religious people, of course. Uh, I, I don't go in depth that way. <laughs> yeah. However, we believe we don't worry about the essence of creation. What we have to worry about is what orders have come from our Lord God. Okay. And then uh, uh, we, we're not worried about his color, his essence. Mm -hmm. Because uh, God is not as biased as human beings. Mm -hmm. Whatever color he created, he has a purpose to create for. Okay. okay. Then uh, we believe that uh, Ethiopians are the source of man nature. The source of what? Man, human life. Source Both of even in, in science, it has been proved that uh, man has started here in Ethiopia. That's yes, the same is true in the Bible. Yes. Therefore, there is no conflict between the spiritual and the scientific approach in understanding the nature of man. Okay. So, 
our understanding is not uh, to, to deal with the, nature, the essence of God, rather what he has said to us. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that color does not mean much to you all. Nothing. Because you see God as, as a spirit. It, it's a spirit. The Christ, the Christ, the Jesus Christ or Yeshua is the spirit that was in the body. Sure. Now, someone's going to say, well, hold up. What about that body that was walking on this earth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, yeah. in the Western worlds, they've painted at these, this, these, these depictions of Jesus or yeah. Yeshua as a European. I will ask you one question. Mm. Uh, can Jesus Christ act at a time as a black and a white or a different color? Or is, is he static enough to have one color? He has, he has the capacity to be any type, any type of color at a time. Because he can do anything, in the, he has created the universe. Yes. That's why I'm saying that we should not worry about the color. If he sits with me, he can act as a black. If he sits with you, he can act as white. But the black and white don't act, doesn't though. doesn't matter. It is, there's it, no it, act it's, of a it color. Is, it's nonsense question, rather. It's nonsense philosophical dealing with. While we have many things to deal about God, why should you worry about nature of color? This is an abstract concept. This is, you see, how people rather try to uh, take good things for themselves. That's true. Am I right? Therefore, if we believe that God has created all human beings, he, he's not biased. He's not biased. He's not biased. Now, the interesting thing, yeah. though, you said is that we know that humanity started in Africa. True. And you believe that that, that color of that skin is what we have. I don't know whether what kind of color we have, whether we have developed it after time or whether we have it before when we are created. That's not my worry. Uh, okay. Let me take one, what one American historian said. Whether you like it or not, every man in the world is Ethiopian. You know why? Why? Because mankind has started in Ethiopia. Man, you what? are a descendant of Ethiopia. Now, you mentioned that was a who, who, who quoted that? Or who uh, American that? historian, I, I, I couldn't remember. See, now, that, now you went down a road that many are going to say, hold up. Now you're going to quote a, Euro, a, a uh, European, American, American? American himself, American well, historian. Does that validate anything because it comes from America? Because it, uh, one of, you, you, do you know anything about Lucy? Yes. It's an American scientist who found that with Ethiopian, in cooperation well, with Ethiopian scientists. True. And then Americans now believe that that is the first human being right. who was, which was found in Ethiopia. I'm with you on that. Yeah. But I think when you were saying that an American makes, makes note of that, yeah. that it's supposed to make it right. No. That's not, it's not because an American said that I'm saying it's right. Okay. What I said is even Americans believe that. Americans believe that. Yeah. Right. Okay. I have been here. This is my second time coming to Ethiopia. Yeah. And I hear the priests say the same thing that you've said. Yeah. That color doesn't mean anything. Sure. But it's mighty funny on the monasteries, no. in their pictures that are on the walls, yeah. the black. Sure. Uh, let, let, let before, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me finish with yeah. the black. Yeah. But here in the last, from what I'm told, mm -hmm. these, these other pictures in the last two to three hundred years, mm -hmm. The color of these pictures are white. Start to be changed. They're changing. Yeah. And they're actually taking the front row. Mm -hmm. In other words, yeah. those that are black are putting off to the side and that mm -hmm. was, which is white is being put up front. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, if color doesn't yeah, mean anything. Uh, the intervention of uh, <laughs> the West in all lives of uh, Africans is quite obvious. Yes. It has also in included in, in, intruded in, in, in religious matters. Yes. Therefore, uh, uh, the original picture is uh, this Christ drawn as black. Yes. But those pictures who come from other countries reflect that it's white. Yes. It doesn't matter for us. I, w I was in India. Then Indians have represented uh, their, their Lord in terms of Indians. I understand. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Therefore, that's why I said color should not be our worry. Okay. Uh, if, we think, if we think that, if you believe that Jesus Christ has uh, put the spirit on the body. Yeah. He worked as, as a body here. Right. Then, and he, 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 has, he resembles human, human beings. Any human being can represent him in his own way. 
Okay. Uh, you go to my, my, my yeah. assumption. Mm -hmm. Then we Ethiopians never argue about. It's a silly question for us to argue about the color of Jesus Christ. It, we believe that silly question. So y'all saw it when the when you see the afro, you see the the black skin yeah. that's in the monasteries. Y'all see Christ as yourself in the color because he created me. That's he, that's a philosophical rather than a simple drawing. I am a human being. Jesus Christ looks like a human being. Therefore, I, I know a human being in terms of myself. Yes. The Americans know themselves. The Indians know themselves. They can represent their God in terms. But that does mm. that God is different. So you're Just saying Christ. that yeah. because we happen to live in America that is predominantly white and they got Jesus as white. That just in their own color. They in their own color. In their own color. That we basically are at a disadvantage. But you're saying, and which I understand, is that yeah. it does not matter to the to the to the uh, place of the spiritual side. Yeah. There is no color when it comes to spirit. I just said yes, it is. But there are those who will say, hold up now. In Revelations, mm -hmm. when you're talking about looking on the throne of God, mm -hmm. John had saw yes. this spirit yeah. that it mentions that this its appearance was of a jasper stone yeah. or of a um, uh, it was of jasper or of a um, I forget the other stone, but those are appearances of color. Mm -hmm. But I can accept your answer. Yeah, I can definitely accept your answer yeah. because I mean, this is how you all in Ethiopia think. And I yeah. think that we have, because we have been so westernized and dominated by yeah. the Europeans of making everything black and white, yeah. we are trying to find ourselves in Christ as the color who when he the, the body was walking let me ask you one question yeah while God has created all of us yes why you want to take him him to, towards yourself why say why? that again God has created all of us yes black and white yes why you run to take him to be part of you while he's the creator of all okay let me ask you this right here <laughs> you said that Lucy yeah by archaeologists and science mm. have shown that the first human started here in this land. Sure. But you're saying that nobody knows the color of Lucy. Yeah. Now, I know the color of Lucy. It's black. It's got to be black with all this sun. It's got to yeah. be black. It's yeah. got to be black because... I, I want to be genuine enough. Uh, I, yeah. I, I want to teach for those who are, bla who are trying to take every good thing for themselves. Yeah. I, at least I'm trying to be fair. Because I believe that man is equal in color. Whatever color is equal to me. Be it white or black. Okay. But those people who believe that white color is good, trying to take something that's as, that they assume to be good. Yeah. The creator. If yeah. the creator creates our, all of us, why you should worry about that silly question? Why there are a lot of things yeah. we have to agree upon so that human race can have uh, things that abide them to live together in the globe. I understand. Am I clear? To, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. I totally understand. Yeah. I got one question for you. Please, and go for we, it. We're we, we, we going to end this and come to another subject. Okay. How many children do you have? I have five children. Four five. of mine and one is God-given child. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's say they decided to dedicate a portrait of oh, you. Yeah, yeah. And as years go on, for some reason, your children's children... Mm -hmm. As that picture begins to fade, has it redone? And now your skin, which we see now as black, yeah. is turned more lighter to white. Yeah. Do you think that would be okay to depict you as something you weren't? It doesn't matter for me. It would not matter. It doesn't for matter for me. Because if you are a real <laughs> Christian, yeah. you have to believe that man is equal. Of course, I don't want the term equal because it's. it's oh, yeah, I don't like that word equal. I, I don't, I don't want but. Um, we are created by the same God. And God has a purpose to make everything, though we know it or not. See, I know this conversation is going on because we yeah. say equal, but we know the children of, e of, of Israel yeah. was a special people no. to God. No one is special. No? No one is special. No? Yeah. No, no one is special. You see, why I said that? Um, for God, there is a purpose to do. Beyond our scope to understand. So Abraham wasn't a chosen. He uh, wasn't chosen. No, 
uh, I have to be careful enough in this regard because I'm not good in, in deep understanding of the religious matters. You see, L let's jump this question rather. I may confuse the, the okay, your audience. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I like that. You yeah. like to stay in a lane that you know. Sure. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I get it. I understand. Uh, color here in Ethiopia is not a matter of discussion. No. You know. You can ask a single child. Yes. He doesn't have anything to do with color. He, he observes uh, a white lady and he wants to greet her yes. because she's a human being. And uh, let me give one typical example. There was uh, a Netherlands woman who was working with me mm -hmm. and uh, she told me that one day, your people, your children are bad. Why? I said, they say, oh, okay, okay, okay. They, they didn't uh, consider me as a human being. No, 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 it's not because they didn't consider us as a human being. Rather, they want to communicate with you. Because for them, being white and black doesn't matter, I said, you see. Mm -hmm. Rather, uh, because they don't know English well, they mm -hmm. know the word only, okay. When they throw that word, they are attempting to, to communicate with you. I try to convince her this way. You see? Even the kid. I got you, I got yeah. you. Queen Sheba, yeah. what color was she? I don't know. What color but was she? But she's of like me. What color yeah. was Solomon? I don't know. I, I can speak about Queen Sheba, yeah. but I cannot speak about Solomon because. But King Solomon said in the scripture that yeah. he is black and he's calmly. I agree with what he has said. So then he is black? Yeah. I agree with what he has said. So okay. I didn't know who is he and okay. what he has said. I agree and I take as it is. I love this guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, stick to what you know and believe what you believe. Yeah. Yes. All right, family, you heard it here. So we'll move on to another subject matter. Please watch the videos okay. and please gain a knowledge of Ethiopia in the perspective of our professor. Of course, professor, you couldn't speak for everybody of Ethiopia, sure, could you not? Sure, sure, So many different groups yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But thank you very much. This is your man. This is your professor. Go black to Africa. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it.